of our Blessed Mother Mary. And in this Mass, we implore the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary to join her voice to ours in offering up this holy Eucharistic celebration as a sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. We celebrate this Mass as a hymn of praise and adoration to God for his numerous blessings, known and unknown to, to all of us. And in a special way, we pray for this institution in this holy Mass and with the members of this institutions institution we thank God for our graduates for all the favors and blessings of God of them and we also pray for our candidates committing them to the care and love of God I know you have your personal intentions I invite you beloved brothers and sisters briefly bow down your heads and add your personal intentions for this month. Blessed be the Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my Lord, my Lord. In this last days, something happened that there were these academic awards given to students for various subjects, and it has to be cumulative. So they add up all the marks you've gotten from your class four, five, and then the first time of that class six. Whoever emerges the first position receives the award. Do not be afraid of the exams. All you have to do is to avail yourself before God's presence and allow Him to work in you and with you. Just avail yourself. And I tell you, all of us who are not students, our parents, teachers, I know that we have our own personal challenges in life. They come and go, right? They come and go. Remain steadfast. Remain steadfast. Remain steadfast. Do not lose focus. If he was able to still come down from heaven and then say to those two dead creatures, I now tell you to arise and they come up. He can still tell you, Talita, Kumi, I command you to arise and you come up from that difficult situation of yours. It is possible. All he wants all of us to do and to constantly do is to surrender ourselves.
thank you very much for the lovely mass that you just had. It is our privilege to have you today. Feel welcome at St. Ronald. We've just finished the first session of our celebration and there is another second uh, part of it, which is now the graduation. We ask you to stay with us until the end. Thank you very much. Take our love to the VC of the Catholic University of Eastern Africa and our chaplain, Father Mwingai. Thank you. Let us stand up and welcome them. Yes. Let us clap for them. Wow.
Sinrona Nui. Oh. I am Mungu Atifiwe. Amen. <laughs> Thank you very much. Today, the reason we are here, we are here because of celebration of our PP2 who are graduating. We are also giving hand to our brothers and sisters who are going to do their KCSE. Wale Muko Form 4. We receive already blessing from the police. So we expect success from you. And the parents, we assure you, this class of uh, the first Form 4 for St. Ronan, we expect a student for medicine and a pilot. This is a very nice environment to be. You can see the amount of land we are sitting in. You can see it is really big. And we also encourage the co-curricular activities because it goes together with the main curriculum. So you can find, see that we have all the sport areas, sports areas, the co-curricular activities can take place safely. So um, I'm encouraging you to bring your students here. They will be safe and they are in safe hands in the curriculum and the co-curricular activities. Welcome to Central Nam. I'm Sister Frida Dongo, a principal of Central Nam School. Today we just had a very wonderful day. We had a prayer day for the Form 4 candidates and we've also had the graduation of the PP2 student pupils who are graduating to grade 1. The day has been colorful. Our directors a Honorable Fabian Shule and Madame Elizabeth Shule have been of great support in ensuring that today's day was successful. And indeed, we thank the Lord because today is the day that was made by the Lord. And we are very, very grateful for uh, your presence today. Our students who are graduates primary section and we thank the parents for making them available. The Form 4s who are to sit for exams in a few days to come, we wish you well and uh, the few days that are remaining can also make a difference. So don't give up, still push up until the last minute. Our graduates, primary, those who are transiting to grade 1, prepare yourselves and you shall go far.